Live radio, local podcasts, the Frederick Podcast Network at listenfrederick.com. Hello and welcome to the Fedora Files. I am Gregory Fedora and it is that time of year, the spooky season. Halloween is coming and exciting. I don't know when you're going to listen to this. Maybe you'll listen to it on Halloween. Maybe you won't. Either way, sorry for all the movement and the creaking, but, you know, I'm trying to get comfortable. Uh, I've got a Halloween story. And I thought, you know, Halloween, what better time of year than jump onto my good friend Chat GPT and give him a prompt and see what they come up with. For a spooky Halloween story. Now, I I gave it, the prompt was basically, give me a Halloween story that's funny and scary that brings together some horror and some classic Halloween story feel. So here is what it came up with. And I have to give it to you that it, it, it was pretty like a very broad prompt. But uh, chat GPT, it's, it's getting a little bit better. It's getting... You know, so uh, here we go. We're going to we're going to go through this together. And as always, you know, just relax, enjoy AIs taking over the world. And this is what it came up with. The Great Pumpkin Heist. It was Halloween night and Charlie Brown once again found himself sitting at a party watching everyone else have fun. He waited all night in the pumpkin patch, but the great pumpkin never showed. Now he was staring at a bowl of punch, questioning all of his life decisions, including trusting Linus and the supposed pumpkin deity. What's the point, Charlie sighed. Every year the same thing, no great pumpkin. Just then Linus came barreling through the door, his blanket trailing behind him like a superhero cape. His eyes were wide and he was panting as if he had just run a marathon. Charlie Brown, they took him. They took the great pumpkin. Charlie Brown blinked, not quite registering what was said. Wait, what? Who took who now? The great pumpkin, Linus wheezed. He's been kidnapped. If we don't get him back, there'll be no more Halloween, no candy, no costume, nothing but Thanksgiving. Linus shuddered at the horror of it all. Charlie rubbed his temples. Of course, because nothing's ever normal with us. Suddenly, the room grew dark, and an ear-piercing screech echoed from outside. A figure emerged from the shadows, claws scraping along the sidewalk. Freddy Krueger stepped into the light, grinning that unsettling, nightmare-inducing grin of his. Well, well, well. Freddy said, tipping his fedora at Charlie. Love that. Freddy wears a fedora, just like me. You're going to need some help, kid. Whoever swiped your great pumpkin isn't playing nice. Charlie gulped. (laughs) Freddy Krueger? Shouldn't you be, I don't know, ruining Halloween? Freddy chuckled, dragging his claws across the wall just to make the hair on Charlie's neck stand up. Halloween's my favorite time of year, Chuck. No Halloween, no nightmares. No nightmares, no Kruger. I'm not about to let some wannabe ruin my night. So are you in, or are you going to wait for Snoopy to handle it all? Snoopy? Charlie's confusion deepened. Wait, you think Snoopy can handle this? Enough talk. Freddy snapped. Time to save Halloween. Charlie found himself speed walking, okay, running, alongside Freddy Krueger as they headed toward an old, run-down amusement park at the edge of town. The place looked like it had been abandoned for decades. The Ferris wheel creaked ominously, and the merry-go-round spun slowly, powered by nothing but nightmare fuel. This place gives me the creeps, Charlie muttered, looking around. Freddy snorted. Good. If it didn't, I'd be offended. Freddy slashed through a fence and the duo stepped inside. A trail of pumpkin guts led deeper into the park and at the end of the trail, standing next to a flickering neon sign that read, Spooky Snow Cone was Oogie Boogie himself. 
oh my gosh, it brought in Oogie Boogie from A Nightmare Before Christmas. Brilliant. The sack of bugs was holding a pair of dice, tossing them nonchalantly in one hand. Well, 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 Oogie said with a deep, booming laugh. What do we have here, the blockhead and Mr. Nightmare himself? You two are a bit late to the party. You kidnapped the Great Pumpkin, Linus screamed from behind a bush, popping up like a demented jack-in-the-box. You monster! Monster? Oh, kid, you don't even know the half of it, Oogie grinned. Let's just say I had some help. At that moment, Snoopy strolled out from behind Oogie, a leather jacket on, his sunglasses glowing with a villainous intent. Snoopy! Charlie gasped. You're working with him? Snoopy gave Charlie a smug look, lighting a candy cigarette as he flipped a silver coin between his paws. He was no longer the happy, carefree beagle Charlie thought he knew. This was the cool Snoopy, the one who ran with the wrong crowd. Freddy, generally impressed, said, I gotta hand it to you, Snoopy. Didn't think you had it in you. Snoopy shrugged, blowing a candy smoke ring. Oogie Boogie waved his hand, and from behind him appeared a cage made of bones, cobwebs, and nightmares itself. Inside was a great pumpkin, looking quite deflated, literally. You see, kids, Oogie began, twirling his dice. With no great pumpkin, Halloween falls apart. And when Halloween's gone, I take over. Candy will be replaced with bugs, costumes with fear, and trick-or-treat will be nothing but despair. Freddy cracked his neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough with the villain monologue. Let's cut to the part where I slice you in to bug bits, shall we? Oogie's laughter filled the park as shadows began swirling around him, forming massive monstrous shapes. Freddy lunged, slashing his claws through the air as he sliced at the shadows. Meanwhile, Charlie stared down Snoopy. I don't want to do this, Charlie said, fist clenched, but I'm really tired of everyone ruining my holidays. Snoopy took off his shade, revealing cold, unfeeling eyes. He lunged, but Charlie grabbed a nearby stick, the exact kind Snoopy loved to chase. He waved it in front of Snoopy, and the beagle's villainous facade crumbled. Snoopy's eyes widened, the primal urge to fetch, too strong to resist. Go get it, boy, Charlie yelled, throwing the stick. Snoopy bolted after it, leaving Oogie in the dust. Meanwhile, Freddy finished slicing through Oogie's shadow monsters with a single swipe. Time for you to bug out, Freddy sneered, driving his claws into Oogie's sack. Bugs exploded everywhere as Oogie collapsed into a heap of creepy crawlies. Linus, with a triumphant yell, rushed to the cage and threw it open. The great pumpkin floated out, glowing brighter than ever before. The skies clears, candy rained from above, and Halloween was saved. Nice work, kid, Freddy said, patting Charlie on the back with one bladed glove. Guess you're not as big a blockhead as I thought. Charlie sighed in relief. Uh, thanks, Freddy. I, I guess we did it. Freddy leaned in, smirking. Yeah, but don't get too comfortable, Chuck. I'll see you in your dreams. Charlie gulped. Halloween was safe, but his nightmares? That was a problem for tomorrow. And so Halloween was saved, thanks to a reluctant Charlie Brown, a dream demon with a heart, sort of, and one very misguided beagle. The end. Now, I don't understand how they said that the misguided beagle helped save Halloween, because I think the misguided beagle kind of screwed up Halloween. And the only thing he did was chase a stick. So I don't like that they gave, uh, you know, Snoopy any credit there. I mean, Linus at least told everybody what was going on. I do like that they did uh, bring in uh, Freddy Krueger and gave him some catchphrases because he, you know, he was always known for like saying things right before he killed people. And um, and then I like that he kind of threatened Charlie Brown at the end. Um, overall, not, not bad for a uh, 
a uh, very vague prompt given to chat GPT. And it, it did maybe though, because I log on through my account on chat GPT, maybe it's starting to figure out my algorithm of what I'm wanting. I don't know because I, I don't like, cause in the past I've given it specific, uh, you know, prompts this time it was kind of vague, but it gave me a pretty good prompt, you know, story. Um, I'm impressed. I am impressed. Well done chat GPT. For a great Halloween. I think I'll do one more Halloween one next week. Uh, and come back for that. And we'll see what it gives us. So. Happy uh, spooky season. And remember to as always. Stay safe. And keep searching. The Fedora. Check out FedoraCRT.com today.